Hi everyone, I am going to show you how we're going to paint a nice little example of Nick Phillipson's work. So what we're going to learn here is we're going to learn how to use masking tape. We're going to learn the layers of the artwork and how to paint in a neat controlled way. So first of all, rather than painting everything separately, like trying to paint the red and painting all around these letters, which would be very hard to do, we're going to do layers, which makes it a lot easier. So the first layer we're going to do is the red background. We're going to paint the whole thing red. Then we're going to masking tape, put masking tape on to get nice sharp lines. There's an example here. And then we are going to paint on some lovely uh, numbers and letters on afterwards. So the first thing that we are going to do is you're going to be given a photocopy. You, we're going to learn actually how to mask up our areas because we'll have to know how to do that when it comes to our final artwork. So I have a piece of paper here. What you're going to do is you're going to trim this all the white edges off really, really, really neatly. Okay. So that we can work out what the size of this is. So try and do it as neatly as possible. I'm gonna place it on here and I'm going to just use an HP pencil just to sort of roughly sketch around it so we can see what size it is. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to use masking tape. Just try and guesstimate how long it needs to be. Just press it down like that. Don't press it down really, really hard because it sometimes it tears off the paper. Okay, so we're masking off this square shape so that when we paint on this it's not going to go on the other edges. Okay, I'm just going to put that there and then our final piece up here. All right, so we're going to paint this the lighter red colour. Okay, so let's grab some paint. Okay, the red paint is quite runny, so we don't want to open it upside down. We want to open it up this way, and we don't need too much, just like that. Put the lid on properly so it doesn't leak out. I'm going to use a bigger paintbrush because it's a bigger area. Okay, my paintbrush is a little bit wet. I'm just going to dry it off because I don't want it to be absolutely soaking wet. All right, so I'm just going to get some paint on my brush. Not too much, I'm not gonna cover it all, I'm not piling lots of paint on. And I'm gonna paint nice and neatly like this. I'm gonna smooth it out as I go. A little bit more, not too much. See how much I can blend that out. If it's a little bit see-through, that's fine because we can put two layers of paint on. If we paint it on all thickly like this, it's going to be very, very lumpy and we can't do lovely lettering over top because it's not smooth, it's lumpy. So don't use too much paint. Never overload your brush too much, okay? So here we go, just gonna smooth this out. Like so. Make sure it's all lovely and smooth. Don't try and overwork your paint. Um, it can get sticky and then it will get lumpy. If you need, what you can do now is dry it with a hair dryer and then apply a second coat of paint, nice and thin layers. If you do one, two, you may need to do three layers with some certain colors, but you do that rather than piling on thick. See, if I paint this, so that it's all thick and opaque. Opaque means that you cannot see through it. It's the opposite of transparent. See, if I do this, it's lumpy and it's not going to be nice for me when I have to do lovely, neat letters over top. So that's how you do your first layer of paint.